What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be only using Halloween event units. We have Scarecrow Foxy, Dreadbear, Clown Trap, Grim Foxy, Jacko Endo, and we have a range booster. And they have actually secretly buffed his character. He used to be costing 12k and now he costs 8. So that's a pretty good buff because I thought he was kind of bad. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Right, so I guess we just do like game one day three on nightmare um the only problem is with this team is a lot of the units are costing quite a bit of coins so doing hell mode might be quite hard um oh wow this is a very odd map okay so entrance entrance okay, so the best place to put it would probably be here now personally guys i don't think this starter is good at all he needs a buff uh, this gonna be. This might be really hard to actually kill these guys here, especially if they if they don't turn left, we're screwed. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my lord! We have just about did that. Oh my! Okay, let's get another Grim Foxy. Oh my god! He is really. He is so weak. Oh no! Oh no! He is very weak. He is very weak. But we're just about doing it. Yeah. So our next unit up is Clown Trap, and he costs twelve k. So. <laughs> Okay, wait, when you get him to max level, he's not too bad. That's that's actually all right. But, oh no, against these rotten foxies. Let's get uh, a range booster for now. Oh, that actually will really help because they're getting like full map coverage. I think the bad thing about this character is his cooldown is really bad. Right, right, right. Clown Trap. There we go. Now, I don't know how to feel about Clown Trap. I don't think he's that good. But he used to cost 12k, which was way too much. But now that he costs 8k... I feel like that's actually quite a good buff. I don't know why they haven't said anything about it. Because <laughs> he, he used to cost 12k, but now he costs 8. That's pretty good. But we know we know how everyone feels about Jacko Endo. Oh no. Oh no. Jacko Endo. I don't think I even talked about him in the beginning of the video. Did I forget? Oh no. Goodbye. Rest in peace, Jacko Endo. Let's get a Dreadbear down. Take those dreads. We got the, <laughs> the nonchalant Dreadbear. Okay. That's horrendous. Right, clan trap level two. Get these guys up. Let's get these guys up. Bang. Okay, so when he gets to max level, he does like six, seven uh, k damage every two seconds. That's all right. I guess the whole point of his character is that he's like a stun character, but I just don't think he's very good. Red Bear is pretty good though. Although I think the nerf was unneeded. Actually, let's get Scarecrow Foxy down. Bang. We have the whole Halloween team. The whole Hallow team. Pretty cool. So yeah, Dreadbear does like pretty good damage. 8k every, I mean, every three seconds though. Oh. We do have tons of stun. Like every character in my deck basically has a stun. Oh my, oh, we forgot about someone. Oh, guys, sorry. I forgot about, I forgot about um Jack Noendo. Oh my Lord, dude. If he's doing 210 with Puppets Nightmare, what does he do? What, 170 base? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, he's done 7.3k, sure, but I don't think this character is good anymore. <laughs> maybe maybe he can help us with the boss. Come on. Jack Noendo. Come on. Bang. Oh, wow. That is so slow now, the damage. It used to do like 10k-ish per second. Oh, but we are going to beat Jacko Patch. That's nice. They should actually make him... Oh, he is a character, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Right, let's play again. All right, guys. We're going to get into our next game. Um, let's try this map. I think if this is the one I'm thinking of, we should start with 3k. But yeah, I'm trying to get to 1 million. Oh yeah, is that map? Oh god, this is a horrible map. What the? Okay, let's place down all our guys. See, this is the pro thing about playing on Nightmare Mode. You can place stuff before the match starts. So, you have to get them all level 2. Then do Hell Mode, I guess. Does anyone else think... The Corrupted Present drops for Halloween are way too low. Like, what? They need to be changed, they do. Right, bang, 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 bang. Oh my lord, what the... Okay, so we, we are going to need a Clown Trap as quickly as possible. Come on. Three, two, bang. Okay, Clown Trap, then. Then, I think we've lost. I think we've lost Trap, guys. Oh no, uh, Rice, uh, Rice. Scarecrow Foxy. Why did I go so fast? What? <laughs> oh my lord. That is um 
Probably only doable with phone guy, I reckon. Right, I think it's time to see how far the scary spooky team gets on endless. So let's load into an endless real quick. Right, I say we do treat because I do not think being foxy is going to be able to survive against the trick people. Luckily, they only have 275 health. But I think this guy is not a very good starter. I don't think he's very good. He needs to get a buff. It's just that cooldown. Like, this is just way too long. Um, they could increase his price. That would, that would be a pretty good idea. Oh, he made it. He made it by. He made it by. That is for sure. Okay. Let's place that one down. He is pretty good for the Halloween update though because a lot of the levels, you only get 600. Also, there's something wrong with my Roblox character. So I have this like evil dog for Halloween, right? Because... I was going to get a pumpkin head, but then I was like, that doesn't really suit my channel. So I searched up evil dog. Okay. Well, actually, I didn't even search it up. I just looked underneath my dog and I found it. But when you like zoom in and you see my Doflamingo face, it like, hold on. It like switches. Like what? Maybe that's part of the costume. It? It's meant to switch. Right. We are on the first wave. It's basically Toxic Bonnie versus the Grim team and... No, that was pretty quick. I would probably be quicker than Phone Guy. If you guys didn't know, I, I'm a Phone Guy Glazer. I think he's the best starter in the game. I don't really know how anyone thinks Tarnished is. Um, I've seen my friend Ishak use Tarnished and like it just doesn't work at all. I probably even think this guy is probably better than Tarnished. If you actually had... Oh, what's that really bad booster? The, the Endless 5 one? That actually might go quite well with this guy. Because imagine like... I mean, that does slow and a bit of a cooldown boost. I mean, I think it's a worthless booster, but, you know, anyways, let's get our Dread God in the middle. Bang, look at that. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this Halloween update in the comments down below. I'm personally enjoying it, but I think there are going to have to be some balance changes coming, like, now but i i think they're probably going to do it on saturday there is probably going to be a massive update with some new evos exclusives and hopefully the riot that i made on in my last video on jack noendo i hope he gets buffed again because i mean i'm not saying i'd use him but i think it's a bit unfair just because everyone's getting a unit i don't think we should nerf it i, I think that's a bit silly but yeah i think this update is really good apparently there's like a roblox event going on for Halloween or something and they're trying trying to get into it and I mean I don't blame them um I hope they do win but we're gonna need some balance changes soon um I reckon buff Dreadbear buff Grim and buff Jack Noendo I I reckon that's what I would do but I know they're easy to obtain units but the problem is it just makes the game a bit unfun when we nerf new units that everyone's excited for I think it's just a bit silly Especially as Dreadbear is a nightmare. I mean, he should be should be dis, di, uh, dishing out loads of damage. Oh, I really wish he could place one there, but there's a candle in the way. Okay, we'll get the... Uh, oh, didn't place it. There we go. We'll get a uh, Dreadbear down there. Okay. I can't wait for the Christmas update. I'm wondering what they're going to do, because are they going to do, like... Halloween update from like now to like November like 20th and then they drop the Christmas update then or are we going to get a grace period with no update personally I mean actually if they're doing the update 20 days before we got this update on the 12th okay so that means we'd get it on like yeah we might actually get the Halloween update going for quite a while I really want this to stay and I hope we get that Halloween just in straight into Christmas I love it when games do that um, Christmas update is going to be crazy because they're going to, there's a lot of mistakes they made with this update and I reckon they're going to, they're going to absolutely cook with the next update. Bang, we're getting quite a few endless presents. Well, two, but, you know, that's quite good. Clown Trap. Probably my least, my new least favorite unit. I, I got so hyped when I bought him. I thought it was, a, I thought he was a spring trap evolution. All right, yeah. This is looking this is looking pretty good actually. We got a bunch of stun units, so if we make it to wave 100, I'd be I'd be pretty impressed. But yeah, guys, when I do my massive opening on Friday, 
I don't know how many pumpkins I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to compete with YouTubers that are probably gonna get like given like 50 million pumpkins. I think it's really unfair, um, but they do have to delete their their pumpkins now. But I'm gonna have to try and respectfully get a million pumpkins without any devs or anything. And I think that's quite a quite a cool thing to do. Hopefully, I can grind for these pumpkins. I know I'm gonna have a competitor in pumpkins, and that's probably gonna be Bean Gaming. I wonder how many he's gonna get. When I checked his, like, when he was playing the game for, like, one day, he had, like, 300k. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't know if he got given some or if, like, he's actually just playing the game constantly. Um, I tend to play a lot of Endless because um, the normal games are sometimes they can be quite hard, especially if you don't have, like, many boosters. My boosters are really bad. The only good booster I have is a Shiny Maestro. I'm trying, I'm going to try and get a shiny Ballora on times two luck because I do have 200 presents, but it's so horrible waiting for it. I don't know if I'll include the present opening in the video. It might go on for a bit too long because, you know, summoning is quite, quite long. So I don't want to make the video too long. Right, Jackowendo. Uh, there are some units I haven't placed down, actually. Okay, we got a Scarecrow Foxy. Uh, where should I put that? Oh, that's a good spot. Bang. Right in there, then Scarecrow Foxy, upgrade, upgrade. Ooh, they are getting a little close now. Wave 93. This is a very hard endless, I have to admit. Um, although it will be hard without like any freezing units, that's the problem. Oh no! Oh no! I mean, think about it in the winter update, there's going to be tons of new freezing units. It's basically going to be like this, but freezing. You know, we'll get like Frostbite Foxy instead of Grim Foxy and be like bright blue. That'd be pretty sick. Right. I think this is probably the wave we lose. Oh, yeah. So wave 97. I mean, that's okay. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. The Halloween units are pretty good. But I think they should be OP. I think we're going to need some buffs to Grim Foxy, Cloud Trap, basically all of them. I think Scarecrow Foxy's in a good spot. But yeah, that's it for this video. We have 216k pumpkins for my opening so far. I've got two more days to get loads. So I'm going to have to grind quite a lot today after I do this video. So thank you all for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and join the Discord if any of you are new here. Goodbye.